For several years the scientists preserved the secret of the shocking data of interpretation of photographs of our planet from space. In the ice of the North Pole area a huge hole could be clearly seen. Soon a similar hole was discovered in Venus. Astronomers were shocked and questioned if these planets are hollow inside and what they have in their cores. New Physics, New Geography Russian physicist Fedor Nevlin became famous after composing the theory of new physics. In other words, he explained the birth of the Earth in a different way. First our planet was a huge cold lump wandering in the universe. Being influenced by the sun and the universe energy, it was heated up to lava state and then started cooling up. The crust covered the Earth. Meanwhile, the stuff under the crust continued boiling turning into gas, Nedelin believes. Gas expands when being heated. In the core of our planet hollow space aroused, and a part of gas went outside. Big gas throwing out took place in the north and south poles. Deep big holes aroused there. Nedelin is sure the Earth is absolutely hollow inside and can even have a small sun there. The sun energy penetrates there through the holes in the poles and accumulates in the center. If one supposes that the Earth is hollow inside and has its small sun, there can be life as well. This idea was indirectly confirmed by the report on an American high-rank military commander to the North Pole. The report was made secret, and its details became known to the world press only recently. The Man Who Flew Inside the Hole in 1947 Vice Admiral of the U.S. Navy Richard Byrd went for a research flight over the North Pole. Near the pole he noticed an unusual spot colored in mixture of yellow, red and violet. On approaching the spot the pilot could see something like a mountain chain. Byrd flew over it and saw, this was his first impression, a mirage v forests, rivers, meadows with animals resembling mammoths. He could also see weird flying machines and, a city with buildings built from rock crystal. He realized himself to be a second Columbus discovering a new continent. The air thermometer scale began lifting and stopped at plus 23 degrees Celsius. This was impossible for the North Pole. Radio for the connection with the air base did not work. Bird's wife who read his register for the flight told that Vice Admiral contacted the representatives of the underground civilization who overtook us for 1,000 years of development. The inner planet surface residents resembled people in appearance, but were more beautiful and had the look of spirituality. They had no wars, they found new sources of energy which allowed to use vehicles engines, receive food and light from nothing. Those people told Bird they tried to contact the outer surface of the Earth residents, but all their attempts were rejected, their flying machines were shot. Finally they decided to assist human beings only when they will be on the brink of self-destruction. Inner Earth residents showed Bird all their civilization achievements and then escorted the pilot to the pole hole to let him out to our outer world. On return home he discovered that the plane used the fuel for extra 2,750 kilometers of flight. The authorities recommended Vice Admiral never tell anybody about the world he saw and put him under strict control for the rest of his life. We can't find any imagery on the true North or South Pole, there's always some kind of brushing or just a big black hole they put for whatever reason. The following are examples. Here is one rare photo I've come across, I think Alex Collier mentioned it. Violent Universe by the BBC's Nigel Calder and when I saw a first edition from 1969 on sale, I snagged it here are the scans. Next we have the latest pictures provided by an infrared satellite show that the heat signature at the North Pole is quite astounding.
The following 3D radar pictures of Antarctica South Pole were provided by the European ESR satellite in 1992. They give a clue of the enormous gap in the South Pole which is one-third of the continent and swallows almost all the 18th parallel of the Southern Hemisphere Ross Dependency, therefore all the chains of mountains which are including, Royal Society, Worcester, Britannia, Churchill, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Alexandra, Commonwealth, Queen Maud and Wisconsin are pushed over against Queen Maud land and are therefore 870 miles away from what is shown on the official maps. However the pictures produced by ESR1 are showing, officially, the Iceland contours up to 81.5 degrees of south latitude therefore it is reasonable to assume that the hole shown on the three pictures result from the lack of coverage of the satellite. Here we have a picture showing the hole in the ozone layer over the South Pole. Why this inward motion? Which by the way fits the 3D radar pictures shown above. In March 1960, the very much indifferent and popular French science magazine Science et Vi, published a very interesting article of the South Pole area nearby the Ross Sea. It says that Russian scientists explored the Binger Oasis, an area of 500 km2 free of ice, displaying an average temperature of more than 25 degrees Celsius. With lakes, springs, vegetation and several bird species. For such an incredible phenomenon, the magazine says that the scientists found out the reason of that sudden rise of temperature, which is due to the fact that in the south, Mountains are breaking down the wind and holding a huge amount of ice and snow and in the north the ocean has a softening effect. How could these scientists let us believe that a mountain range and the softening effect of the ocean can explain a difference of more than 100 degrees Celsius? That's boiling water, since the article says that the lower temperature surrounding the area has reached a phenomenal record of minus 86.7 degrees Celsius and displays an average of minus 50 degrees Celsius. Here we see the Binger Oasis green area very well surrounded by U.S. military bases. How does an official space view of the poles look like? This is a lovely over a touched official view of the Arctic by Clementine Satellite, thanks to Photoshop.